What is going on, guys? Stop what you're doing right now. The biggest rumor Apple has dropped in years is finally becoming reality, and it is going to destroy the budget laptop market. We are talking about the revived 12-inch MacBook, Apple's answer to the $300 Chromebook, and the numbers we're seeing are absolutely nuts. First, and most important, the price. We are hearing reports that Apple is targeting an insane starting price of just $599. Yeah, you heard that right. A brand new full Mac OS laptop for 600 bucks. This isn't a discounted M1 Air, by the way. This is an entirely new design, specifically engineered to hit this price point. Now, how are they doing this? The secret is the chip. It's not an M series, it's the A18 Pro from the iPhone 16 Pro. This thing sips power, giving you insane battery life. And most importantly, it lets Apple use cheaper components and skip the expensive M series controller hardware. But listen up. Before you sell your M2 Air, you need to understand the performance trade-off. The A18 Pro is fast, don't get me wrong. On the single-core CPU side, it's basically neck and neck with the M4. That means everyday snappiness, opening Safari, loading apps, it's going to feel blazing fast. We're talking true M1-level performance at a minimum. But here's the canyon. When you look at multi-core performance, the M4 is still, like, 70% faster. The A18 Pro has fewer performance cores, which is where it loses big points on heavy tasks. Think of it like this. If you're just browsing the web, the A18 Pro is a Ferrari. But if you open Final Cut Pro to edit 4K footage or try to run a big Xcode compile, that Ferrari turns into a fast golf cart. This budget machine is strictly for the basics, web, streaming, documents, and schoolwork. The good news is that you get full Mac OS and total support for Apple intelligence. The A18 Pro's neural engine is optimized for those AI features, which is a massive win and gives this machine a huge leg up on any Windows competitor at this price. Okay, let's talk major sacrifices, because that $599 price tag comes with some serious deal breakers for power users. This is where Apple cuts corners to make that profit margin work. The display. It's a slightly smaller 12.9 or 13 inch screen, and it's a cheaper standard LCD. Forget the liquid retina display, forget ProMotion, forget Mini LED. The resolution and brightness will take a hit. The ports. <gasps> Holy smokes, <laughs> this one hurts. No Thunderbolt. You're stuck with one or maybe two standard USB-C ports capped at 10 gigs per second. That means no high-speed docks, and most rumors say you'll only be able to run one single external monitor. Ouch. Plus, we're likely starting at 8 gigabytes of RAM and maybe just 128 gigabytes of storage to hit that $599 price point. So why is Apple doing this now? Simple, market share. This laptop isn't designed to steal buyers from the MacBook Pro. It's designed to steal millions of users from Chromebooks and mid-range Windows laptops, users who've always been priced out of the Apple ecosystem. Analysts predict this single product could boost Apple's total Mac shipments by 30 or 40% in 2026. This is a gateway product designed to get you hooked on the Apple lifestyle. So, when is it dropping? We're looking at a launch window in the first half of 2026, and apparently it's going to come in some awesome funky colors like blue, pink, and yellow, just like the original Macs. Look, here's the bottom line. The A18 Pro MacBook is a fantastic first Mac or student Mac, but it is not an upgrade for anyone currently on an M-Series machine. Are you trading Thunderbolt, M-Series performance, and a premium display for a guaranteed $600 macOS laptop with Apple intelligence? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Enjoy till then.